Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5067036 or KB5067931 on your Windows 11 computer. Now, the first step is to pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows update. Over here, you can see pause option, hit pause. And this may take some time. Now, once paused, you can resume the updates over here and then you can check still not working the next step is to start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now make a right click on app readiness click on restart and then check still not working the next step is to Scroll down, find Windows Update. You have to start Windows Update service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows Update and then click on Restart. Now find my Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click on Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. and then make a right click on background intelligent transfer service then click on restart and once this is done now you can try to update your windows 11 again and then you can check if you see retry option hit retry and then try to install it again now still not working the next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now copy all these commands copy the first command and then paste it over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time it will run a scan once the scan is 100 percent complete over here then you have to copy the second command and paste it on the same window and once the second scan is 100 percent complete over here then copy the third command paste it over here, hit the enter key and once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, open this link in the browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now on this website, write down the name of the update that is KB5067036 over here and then click on search and then over here, Check your version. So type in W I N V E R in Windows search box and then click on Winver run command over here. And in my case, version is 25H2. And then check the system type. So you can go to system over here and then go to about. And then over here, you can see system type. It's 64 bit operating system. So for me, it's a Windows 11 version. 25H2 x64 base system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Now click on download. And then you can click on this KB5067036. Click on it. And then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file. And then you can install this update manually. And then once done, you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update go to update history and okay uh, go to windows update and then go to advanced option if you see retry option you can always try retry now go to advanced option over here and then scroll down click on recovery option and over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now now this process will take some time and once this is done now restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file now, once you run this exe file, 
you will see this screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next click on select iso file over here first put a check on iso file and then click on next and then you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish over here once you hit finish it will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close let this close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can try to update your windows 11 you should be able to install these updates successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel